injured here. 3v3. Caldera's a fine red blue team. A couple of plague champions. First up is Patrick. We also have X File. These guys. Oh, he's not moving. There we go. These guys start off range combat with their damage over time. Bolters can get melee weapons, some decent utility, and support can build turrets and repair. But are very slow. Death Guard Elite Scheme for X File, which is awesome. Alongside five times monthly Wumble Tournament winner, Noisy plays a war boss melee commander that walks through objects. Some very good offense, disruption, and support from the front lines. Red team. A couple of force commanders. We have Phoenix and Deckard. These guys with some awesome offense can also tank, disrupt, and support with buffs fight in melee combat. And alongside is Floyd as a Lictor Alpha melee specialist that can infiltrate and disrupt with some awesome offense and a bit of support too. Up against the Plague Champion of X-File and here is Phoenix to help out. Or rather Phoenix is up against him on this side and it's Floyd helping out. Plague Champion can do reasonably well versus Elixir Alpha in a 1v1 situation on a team game. Since if he gets flesh hooked he can immediately use Unholy Stench and try and get away. Or if you can wait to tier 2, get Armor of Pestilence, and then Elixir Alpha cannot flesh hook you around. You need to play a little differently though. Usually you'd lead the line with your Plague Champion and soak up a little bit of damage, but don't really want to lead the line with your Plague Champion against Elixir Alpha because he'll hook you. You want him to waste those hooks on Heretics if you possibly can. A bunch of War Banners going up mid from Noisy. And you might immediately lose all of them. 473. 500. Four mines trying to get in position to do damage from Floyd. Often follows up his double termigans with these four mines. Basically, floating grenades that can damage and suppress anything nearby when they detonate, even your allied stuff. So, need to be careful. Looks like they're not going to get a single detonation. They did get one, suppressing and damaging those shooter boys, as you saw. Licked Alpha going ballistic and killing a shooter boy. Licked Alpha is so powerful. Even though he's kind of a sneaky infiltrator, he can lead the line very, very well with his feeder tendrils and his, what is it called, deadly jump in tier 2. He is decapping mid. Pheromones, of course, great piece of support war gear as well. It even allows you to reinforce allies, I believe, or allows them to reinforce, rather. So the mid players are gonna be important. Floyd might be able to get some really nasty assists coming in flanking with that flesh hook. Sluggers moving in against Formagons and double termigants. Risky engage for both players here. Need to be careful. Sluggers seem to be losing. Yes. Both get away just about. Formagons down to two models. Sluggers also down to two models. Lots of good Daka there from the Shooter Boys with that big shooter up. And double CSM for x -Fell. Double CSM also for Patrick. Is he using... No, he's not. I thought he was using Thousand Suns. Plague Champion revives the other Plague Champion of Patrick. x -Fell coming all the way over to this side of the map to do that. And he levels now to two, having killed or helped kill a Tactical Marine. Who just about get away with two models there. Force Commander now backing away, going for his Power Sword. Phoenix on the other hand, with no war gear yet, going straight into Devastators. Double shooters for Noisy. You might see him get some Storm Boys up. Little touch of Nurgle worship there, but Heretic's now backing off. And everything, as you can see, buffed by those War Banners. Posturing for position. Devastator is now coming into play and suppressing his double CSM. We run right into it. Might see some Raptors now from Rex File. Patrick is getting some Raptors. Scouts with a Sergeant trying to take advantage of that suppression with a Fragmentation Grenade. That could be nasty, but he splits very well and it only kills a single Heretic. Who cares about losing Heretics? There's a Doom Blast just to slow down this Force Commander so he could be shot up. Might run in for another Doom Blast now. Nope, some Nurgle Worship, boosting the health regeneration of your infantry and also your demons, of course. Nurgle Worship is meant to give more health regeneration to demons, but I think I heard that that's not working correctly at the moment. 
but will work in a future update 2.3.1. Lictor after getting shot to pieces by orcs. And we have Barb Strangle Warrior brewed up. Oh, light grenades for Patrick. He wants to try and get it on a double termigant, so I assume, but he got it on what was this, Hormagons. Sniper Scouts, incredibly annoying unit. Gonna take pot shots at the Raptors in a few seconds. CSM trying to get models off them, in fact they do force them away before they can shoot, but now they are. And quite luckily for the Raptors, they do not take a model off them. 408, 460. And he's forced to retreat. X File. Not getting Raptors. I guess he doesn't have to push against this, and Phoenix needs to push up a bit and use the Devastators a bit more aggressively and go for that power, maybe. Heretics and the Plague Champion repairing the War Banner. Force Commander in amongst the Marines with his power sword, Kel Space Marines, that is. Using his battle cry to constantly disrupt them and now can turn and try and engage the Plague Champion who gets his black grenades dodged by double termigants. But here comes a lot of Dapper from Shooter Boys, 408, 460, Lictor Alpha, Scar looking around and does have the feeder tendrils, an amazing weapon, power melee DPS with a self heal on hit. There's the flesh hook on the war boss. He's going after him. Toxin sacks, crippling poison, and a shot from the Barb Strangler, keeping him controlled. Here comes the Plague Champion of X-File, does have that Mucus Discharge for that Breath of Noble Heal. Not sure where he's going right now, though. I thought he had Fetid and he was running in for a suppression. Well, he's, he didn't do it. He doesn't have it. Dreadnought on the way for Phoenix. For Patrick even goes Tier 2. There's a Dreadnought halfway done. Very lopsided in terms of tech up there. Raptors taking shots and taking hits from that power sword. That was nasty. Noisy has put Ard Boys on them, but they lose a the model anyway. If they didn't have that, Ard Boys might have lost two. What was that? Threw his Black Rains on his own Tactical Marines. Thought the Hormagons were going to run in there on his own CSM, I should say. Ouch. Really good special from the Force Commander. Takes out a model, almost takes out two. Heavy Bolter Turret is up there. War Boss level two has spiky armor and angry bits. Plague Marines on the way for X File. And here is that Space Marine Dreadnought for Phoenix. Very little action on this west side. Both players happy to just sit and wait for tier two where they can get some more options. Now some plasma devastators for Phoenix Deckard with a Razorback and get some Stone Guard veterans on the field. Switching straight to those Hellfire rounds. There we go. Gonna shoot the crap out of Orcs and Heretics with those Hellfire rounds. Dreadnought moving in. And gonna take down this War Banner. Look how much health they have. 800 hit points, these War Banners. 408, 427. War boss with the power claw fully kitting himself out here. What was that? Oh, it was Aura of Decay from the Aura of Pestilence. When he takes a certain amount of damage, he gets that knockback ability. Well, he does go down in retreat. 408, 415, and X File going for that Plague Fist. Massive engagement mid. That's that red team will win it handily, I think, with that Razorback support. And the Dreadnought charging in. It's in a bit of trouble here. Tank Busters and Plague Marines taking shots. Need to be careful. Tank Buster Barrage. Timed and aimed very, very well. Wow, it's really in trouble. And goes down. Massive, massive loss. They dealt with that Dreadnought very quickly, Blue Team. And that is a huge boon to them. Force Commander took a direct hit from that Plague Marine missile, I think. Razorback with that twin link heavy bolter getting shots off and down goes the second one and there's still one up raptors ouch eating a big plasma cannon shot that was pretty unlucky there perfectly hit them and they're almost finished off that's a lot of bleed 408 400 stick bombs thrown in by the stick bombers 
surprisingly. No Nurgle Shrine mid. There's two Plague Champions where you don't see a Nurgle Shrine mid. Come on now. Nurgle Shrine is so good on this map. There's the Black Grenades again. Doesn't quite hit the Tyranids. Force Commander is forced off Deckard level 2. And it's going tier 3 and so is Phoenix. Wow, going straight into tier 3. X-File with double. No, he's got Chosen Plague Marines and Plague Marines. They still have the same portrait which will hopefully be rectified soon. Here are these Chosen Plague Marines with these 18 DPS Power Melee Plague Knives which do damage over time and it's I'm pretty sure it's heavy melee damage over time. So it will crunch through anything. Incredibly tough. Suppression resistant, not suppression immune, but much like the Plague Marines and the Plague Champion, they are heavily resistant to suppression. They can walk through it at double the speed of normal units and they still fire their ranged weapons at the same rate. Don't have a melee charge though, these guys, which does hurt them as a melee unit. They're basically the ultimate counter initiation, which is why I often actually don't get these guys. The Plague Champion already has such amazing counter initiation that it's sometimes a bit overkill to get those chosen Plague Marines out. I wonder how others are thinking about it. Raptors chasing off double termagants. We can now reinforce off this Razorback and they're taking shots from snipers. Need to run away. There we go. Oh, it's a last cannon turret. These things are nuts. But the Razorback is not in range now. It is. Smack. Oh, it hit terrain or something. Bang. Look how much health that took off it. Insane amount of damage per shot. And stun bombs thrown in by the stick bombers. Mid is looking very, very blue. We do now have a Nurgle Shrine up with triple war banners. Force Commander with the Thunder Hammer for Phoenix. Deckard's Force Commander with the Power Sword still. Raptors back at base. Double stick bombers for Noisy. Zone throw from the field for Floyd. And double plasma cannon. Devastators for Deckard and one for Phoenix as well. So there's three of them on that red team. X File now has a level three Plague Champion with that Plague Fist. Really good capping weapon. Plasma Cannon does get wiped out by the Stick Bombers. Beautifully done by Noisy. They do get you those awesome squad wipes. And now these guys caught in melee combat and they are wiped out by Chaos Space Marines with Marco Zinch. They could forgetting about them. Well, what were those phoenixes? They were Deckards. That's a kind of shot. Does take down the turret. Raptors now come in and suppressing the Lictor Alpha, who does have that deadly jump. Raptors in the wars, but they've done reasonably well, held their own. Forced off now by the Force Commander, who in turn is forced off by the Chaos Forces. Lots of action on that right flank. Very little action now on this west flank. Red team have had it sewn up for quite a while. Now have two generators over there. Here come those chosen plague marines. Two two five zero hit points out the gate. They can get very very close to three thousand hit points at level four. They also have the nobles rot, which there it is infects all these targets. Now when they die, they will return as zombies, controlled or rather allied to the plague champion. But none of them died, so it doesn't work. Double turn against forced off and a really good push here from X-File. He's gonna finish off this Razorback. Bang. Predator tank. I thought he was gonna go straight for Terminators Phoenix, but I guess he doesn't have the red. What is this? Spore mines dropped by Floyd. That could be nasty. Plague Champion turns to engage them, takes out one of them with his plague fist. Look how much damage the chosen plague marines are soaking up here. Almost running into allied stick bombs. Ouch. Losing a model to the plasma cannon, and unlike regular plague marines, their death explosion will heal their own squad, which is a massive deal for them. They can stay in the engagement so long. There is that Nurgle's Rock getting some zombie hormigons here. Chosen plague marines need to be careful. There is a retreat, and thanks to the death explosion, it usually means they get away okay. 374, 307. Really good push from X File. Pulled out at the right time. His plague champion is still in there. Perhaps could have 
gone onto the generators a bit harder, but does get away. Nurgle Shrine mid still being worshipped as well. Blue team gonna really gonna be really difficult to break down there for red. Red team seem to be behind quite a lot if you look at the map. Look at the rosters as well. Phoenix with just three units on the field. Stone God veterans, scouts, and a heavily damaged predator tank. Deckard with a predator of his own, as we saw, and getting another Razorback in tier three. Not often you see that. Vengeance rounds. Stone God veterans taking down the node. What was capping mid level four? Very nearly level five. Horse Commander here, level 2 for Phoenix with Artificer and a Thumbbound. Licked her off, <laughs> jumping in and then backing away again. There's a flesh hook on the war boss, pretty much wasted there. Can Red Team push mid at all? We do have double zone throws, but the war boss is chasing them. He pulled the war boss closer to his zone throws with the flesh hook. Now being disrupted though by that Thunder Hammer. Warboss is tanking like crazy though. Does he have his heavy armor? He does. 1895 hit points to level 4. So live. But can they push against this? We need to get some shots on his double CSM. Lake Champion level 4. The thing about getting chosen is. It means you can use your heretics much more defensively. You don't need to rely on your heretics for counter initiation, which can in turn bleed you like crazy for wreck. So that's the massive upside of Chosen Plague Marines. allow you to change your composition a bit to not rely on heretics so much for stopping melee stuff. 337, 307. Not relying on your Plague Champion as much either, so you can have this guy sit back and support a bit more perhaps. Massive engagement here, Raptors jumping in, stick bombs flying in. These are Melter Gun Raptors which are awesome but they are wiped out by the Lictor Alpha. Level 2 needs to run away now. Really needs to run away. Yeah, he's running. Blue team have the upper round, red team needs to back off here and fight another time I think. They need all three of the players. Deckard is coming back into it. 313307. Level Marcosine CSM advancing. Plague Marines do not get away. Blue team capping mid back. As I kind of getting shots. Still massively blobbed up army here for X File. Needs to be careful with that. Trezor Plague Marines shrugging off. The plaza kind of shots like it's nothing. 313307. This is really difficult to push against this with that Nurgle Shrine there. So much infantry and those war banners. Lots of repairs needed up here. Might take a little while. Floyd is in tier 3, I'm sure he wants to get a Carnifex to just charge into that stuff. Noisy with some flash kits on the way. X-File. Oh, did he not lose his Plague Marines? Maybe they're, oh, there's a Patrick's Plague Marines, I think. 313-284. Capillary Tower up here. Assault Marines on the field for Phoenix. Might see them go straight into Vanguard Veterans. Victor Alpha is still on level 2. Warboss level 4, Plague Chamber level 2 and level 4. Force Commanders level 3 and level 3. And Deckard now going for the Thunder Hammer. We have two Thunder Hammer Force Commanders. Victor Alpha able to decap there. 313269. Nice grenade on the scouts. Is the Black Grenade going to wipe them out? Nearly. Very nearly might still do so as they retreat out there. One more tick and down they go. 313269. He's lost one of his zone throws, Floyd. The other one backing away here. Force Commander teleporting in and going ballistic with his Thunder Hammer. Two to one cap. Smack. Trezor Plague is going after him and that damage over time stacks up a lot. 
so you can go nuts on commanders and single entities and down they go and there is the Nurgle's Rocks, can he get a zombie tactical marine or a zombie stone guard veteran, no he can't, they're in the tree big push mid land raid redeemer on the field for phoenix he does have assault marines and they are instantly getting that vanguard veteran status stone guard backing getting into the redeemer are they nope just backing up three one three two four two these guys can reinforce off it there we go still going to be very difficult to push here's a carny fix though and has the barb strangler spits out some spore mines here's a mark of corn chaos dreadnought from patrick not sure that was a good choice we'll see how much mayhem he can cause with it it's soaking up a lot of damage but i don't think it's gonna last that long there you saw the focus warp blast from the zone throw snaring its movement plasma kind of gets a big shot as well it should be finished off by the tanks that tank itself is finished off though the Dreadnought still lives. It's going to get away. Unbelievable. Link to Ralpha. Trying to fight some chosen plague marines. Taking a lot of damage. Might go down. This is a, a massive engagement. Mostly blue stuff. They've got a huge army here. Landry Redeemer. Staying back. Very, very tempting to run this thing in and use its frag assault. But blue team retake the mid. Plague Champion for X-File hits level 5 and you have a Plague Fist also for Patrick's Plague Champion with Pestilence and Blight Grenades both the Force Spawners down in that engagement, a massive engagement Carnifex getting shot up by Tank Busters Plague Grenades are also still there from X-File Predator Tank for Deckard with the Twin Link last Cannon or do they have a way to push? Can they push at all? Is it time to make it a massive assault against this natural maybe? There is a heavy bolter turret up here from X-File. Those guys are able to decap though. 313179. Are blue team being too static here? Should they be going for red team's natural a little bit? Stone Guard veterans trying to cap. They're going to get wiped out. There's a massive, massive risk from Phoenix and he loses his Stone Guard. He decapped but that was not retreat, that was not worth it. He tried to retreat, it says from the chat. Carnifex will regenerate health itself quite slowly. Victor Alpha shot to pieces. Vanguard veterans jumping in and instantly running the hell away. Chosen two Plague Fist Plague Champions and that war boss. Jumping in is very, very dangerous. 290, 179. It's a 1 to 1 cap. They keep decapping stuff. That Chaos Dreadnought coming back out. Good grief. Termigants getting absolutely owned. Has Freud completely forgotten about these guys? Oh, there's an orbital, and that is a very nicely placed orbital. Takes out the Noble Shrine, takes out one of the War Banners and does a hell of a lot of damage and now they can go after it 288 179 they've got to go after mid now they've got to push alongside that land raider surely the plague champion using armor of pestilence or what is it called pestilent fist i should say pestilent strike even get it right whoa imperial abyss who is that from not sure did not see didn't do a whole lot. Killed a few. Oh, killed a warrior brood model. That was not bad. Two eight eight one seven nine. Can the red team capitalize on that orbital? Looks like they cannot. They decapped it, but they can't cap it. Warbus trying to finish off this predator tank goes down. Pretty unlucky there. Two eight eight one seven nine. Chosen plague marine trying to cap. There is the Nurgle's rocks. Can he kill a warrior brood model and get a zombie warrior? Yes, he can. Leaps after the Vanguard veterans immediately. And here is that Marco Corn Dreadnought. And another orbital. Those stick bombers caught almost finishes them off. The second Nurgle Shrine is taken down. 
and the Heretic's just about surviving with 18 hit points on the Aspiring Champion. Here come double flash kits with blasters and these things absolutely wreck heavy infantry. Plague Marines wiped out. Where is that Carnifex? There it is. Plague Champion cabin mid. CSM forcing melee combat on the Razorback trying to finish off with rear armor hits from the Inferno Bolts. Level 2 Razorback, level 5 and lives. 288179. And the Plague Champion takes mid for a 2 to 1 for the blue team, red team. A valiant effort, but they're unable to control mid. And another Nurgle Shrine goes up. And why not? Another Land Raider Redeemer this time from Deckard. Another Carnifex from Floyd. Two Mark of Corn Chaos Dreadnoughts from Patrick. Going off this Land Raider Redeemer here. Oh, look at this. Red Team's Natural gets decapped. Lots of decapping going on, in fact, from Noisy. Is that Dreadnought going to get away? Blast Kits can't do a lot of damage to a Carnifex, so they back away. 288145. Razorback needs repairs really badly with five hit points. Does he have scouts? He does. Where are they? They're here. Crazy, crazy stuff. Bit of a lot in the action now. I can catch my breath. Red team taking a natural back. But what are you gonna do about mid? Not a whole lot of stuff here right now. They could jump the double CSM. They might be able to cap mid. Dodge the inevitable stick bomb throw. Power Fist from Deckard shutting down his Treadnought, but now it's fighting back with Blood Rage and Force One is going to go down if he's not careful. Does get away. 288, 128. Chaos Terminator is on the field from X File with the awesome Death Guard scheme with those Storm Bolters and Power Fists. As a cannon gets a big shot in, and there's that Barb Strangler. Bang! He might get double Barb Strangler Con effects, he's always got a Thorn back. So he's going to charge this guy in, and there's a, an almost a full retreat from X-File. Both of his CSM out of play now. Charges in. Needs to take down that shrine though, doesn't he? Because that stuff is all going to just reinforce. Otherwise, there's a ton of formation, and that will take down the shrine. Bang. The third shrine to go down. 288-120. Barb Trangler kind of X needs to be a little bit careful. Do they have any ranged anti-vehicle blue team? I don't think they do. A Phobos on the way, that'll be ranged anti-vehicle. The Terminator's also get an auto cannon which will help out. Double Land Red Redeemers. Red team starting to creep back into this game. How many times do we see this? One team controlling mid, a little bit static. Don't try and bash power, they don't try and decap the natural VP enough and they get themselves into trouble. All of a sudden they have these compositions that can't deal with vehicles very well and we have double Land Red Redeemers, a Predator tank and two Carnifexes. They just don't have the means to deal with all this vehicle armor right now. Thongback Carnifex continuing to go absolutely ballistic charging into Chaos Forces. Terminator is teleporting out, yes. And red team taking mid. Their natural very, very safe. We see a battle wagon now for Noisy. Phobos is on the field and that will provide a lot of anti-vehicle if they can look after this thing. I don't see any nukes up for red team. There's a noxious cloud on the Stone Guard veterans. 281120. Phobos trying to hunt down that Redeemer. Taking big chunks of hit points off it. And here comes that Mark of Corn Care Shredder. He's still got two of these things somehow, Patrick. Massive engagement again. Something being revived by the War Boss is going to get level 7 with heavy armor. Over 2,000 hit points. And there is the Dirge Cluster. But this Phobos got way too close here. Way, way too close. Trying to hunt down that. Redeemer, and is he going to lose it? He's just about going to survive. Patrick being... No, it's not. Goes down. The 
this Predator tank finished it off. Michael Corn Dread not going after it. That was a waste. That was a wasted Phobos. They needed that thing on the field. 227, 120. Dreadnought just about gets away again. This one going ballistic with Blood Rage up. And Blue Team stealing Red Team's natural with Chaos Terminator as well. Played X File. Double CSM with Marco Zinch. Very difficult for them to hit these Rippers though. Plasma Cannon's going to go down thanks to this Marco Fawn Dreadnought. Bang. Not going to get out of there though. Down it goes. Fun effects in melee combat and the Predator tank. Finishing it off as level 3 Predator tank and here's the Battle Wagon. Phoenix and Patrick with very little on the field but Phoenix has level 4 Vanguard veterans and a Redeemer and a level 5 Force Commander. Patrick with just Heretics and Marco Zink CSM and a level 4 Plague Champion. So he has a same amount of units, or well, maybe not. Phoenix now has Assault Terminators on the field beginning with these Thunder Hammers and Storm Shields. They can switch to Lightning Claws which will shred pretty much all of this stuff right here. Is he going to do so though? Does he have the resources to do so? He does. Looks like he's keeping them with their Thunder Hammers for now. Teleports them out. Just about. There we go. And the Carn Effect's backing away. How good are these chosen Plague Marines against vehicles then? With that heavy melee damage over time. Level 3 now. 2722 hit points. They've done really well in fact. Looted tank on the field for Noisy. Alongside that battle wagon. Lots and lots of fire support from range. Big shooting match now. Big shooting match. Surprised we've not seen any Lazca. Oh does Deckard have one? He does. A single last cannon only. 197102. Phoenix. In fact, everyone pretty much is floating power like crazy because of the almost complete lack of power harass. Floyd almost has a thousand power. 197102. Two con effects. The Barb Strangler con effects is level 4 now. Look at this. 1796 hit points. How much damage is that Barb Trangler doing per shot at level 4? Wow. Big zap shot. Almost finishing off these Stone God veterans. Retreating back to their Redeemer and reinforcing. Of course, Commander teleports into a whole lot of trouble. Trying to get the Flesh Rover still on the Battle Wagon, I think. It's a really risky push here from Deckard. Oh, that's kind of turret. Is he getting shots? Doesn't look like it's firing on the land radar. Is it charging up? No. Hmm. It's not firing. It was definitely not firing there. 197, 97. 100 VP lead for blue team, but can they hold on? Red team have done really well to come back into this with all those shrines and stuff mid. Another turret over here. Pinning back Floyd. And look at this Lightning Claw Assault Terminators from Phoenix. Can they get them in amongst those Chaos Terminators? They will shred them. Red Team just happy to hold on to their VP there, I think. War Boss capping mid now. And is, is that going to be enough? That is that 2 to 1 going to be enough to see them through? Vanguard Veterans jumping, trying to knock him off the cap, and they do so. But now they're in trouble. That Warboss is pissed off. And he's level 8. 21 10 hit points. Power Core doing insane amounts of damage now. Vanguard Veterans trying to cap. That was a good thing he retreated there. I might have been wiped out by those stick bombers, who are both level 4, I think. Wonder if leveling increases the damage of their stick bombs. I don't think it does. It only affects your melee or ranged attacks. I'm pretty sure that's right. This turret is freaking out, but it has been repaired. We're going to see it fire on that last cannon. Predator tank almost finishing it off with one hit from that last cannon. Barb Strangler con effect doing scary, scary amounts of damage with that Barb Strangler. 185, 85, double cap now for blue team. D cap, the red team's natural. And a big melee fight going on. Chaos Terminators with that improved power fist damage. Where are the Lightning Core Terminators? 
very late to the party. They're taking a lot of damage. That's why. That's kind of getting shots on them. Marco Zink CSM getting shots on them. And they need to back away. Can they defend their VP? 18550. LOL from Phoenix. Not sure what happened. Orbital. Don't think it's going to achieve a whole lot. No. Not going to hit anything, in fact. Last kind of getting a rear arm hit on that. Batwagon, Batwagon actually drove right into that orbital beam and took a bunch of damage. 185.36. Red team are recapping thanks to these Terminators. Tanking damage like crazy. And they get it. They did lose a model though. No, they don't get it. They lost the model that was capping is the model that went down. That was pretty unlucky there. 185.17. Probably wouldn't have saved them anyway. It's a double cap here. And this is going to be it for blue team. Grinding their way through to victory. Red team with an awesome comeback attempt. But couldn't quite keep the momentum up. Phoenix lost a lot. Patrick lost a lot. Both on this right side. Oh, sorry, it was Deckard on the east side. It's Phoenix on the west side. So lopsided there. Carnifexes did really well. I think it should have got double bar triangle of Carnifexes. We've been wiping big swathes of stuff. Flash gets got to level 4. Did a, oh, he got to level 9. Almost level 10 this war boss. Level 4 plague champion. Level 7 plague champion. Forex file. Got his terminators on the field at just the right time to keep the pressure on. Level 5 force command. Level 2. Only level 2 this Lictor Alpha. Level 5 force command. Also 4 Deckard. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.